everybody and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World the game where it is hybrid season. Not only have we got a new Cenozoic hybrid, but we have a, what appears to be another one on the way resembling some sort of armadillo dinosaur thing. And there it is. Moonlit Hunter, a new nocturnal predator, is making its way into your nightmare. Uh, also, it's Valentine's Day, so spend 50 bucks on a chance to win the Thornix pack. Probably you'll get food, though, so don't do it. Um, but before we do anything first, um, let's try and contain Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2. And I'm going to get a perfect. Just watch. Watch me get a perfect. <laughs> so I apologize, guys, that there is no face cam. But you can tell you what, Google Gaming Beaver and then have the image open while you watch this. And you can pretend. There we go. Well, the main reason why there is no face cam is because uh, the way I record the face cam is uh, with a super quality camera. Um, and unfortunately, that super quality camera makes huge files. So if I want to actually use um, the face cam, it means that it takes ages to transfer and then ages to render. Whereas this, I can get it done and done. Super quick. And not only that, but... Um, the main reason as well is that I'm working on um, a just, well, a video that's going to take a little bit longer. It takes a lot more editing. Um, so it's one of those where I don't know how well it's going to be received. But I, I mean, I I'm, I would find it really interesting. And I'm putting loads of effort into it. So we'll see. I think you guys will love it. So that, but I'm, you know, I'm a bit biased. But anyway, um, not only do we have new hybrids to get, that nightmare, or sorry, the nightmare, nighttime hybrid one isn't released at the moment. But, 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 this. Now, we've had packs for books. We've never had packs for DNA. This is a first, the mega super DNA pack. Um, this is a step in the right direction for Ludia. Uh, for what? Can we just praise it for a second? This is really, really good. Um, whereas most of the times it costs money. Like the Century, the Legendary, the Gigantic DNA. 15,000, 15,000, 50,000. 50, so that's what? 60,000? A little bit less? Because you won't get that much. So, it, for instance, this DNA pack is worth... 70 quid because you get for 70 quid you get 60,000 DNA and this this super DNA one on the left costs um, 50,000 which is almost as much so it costs about 60 quid let's say um, which is crazy so what do you get in this mega super DNA uh, you got five days and as far as I'm aware there is no limit to how many you can buy and you get uh, up to 160 Sarkasukas DNA now, I don't know if it's 158, 159, or 10. It says up to. So, if you do get 160 DNA and thereabouts, you know, maybe 10 less, you know, within that range, not 10 or 20, because that would be a right ripoff. Um, if you do get that, that's 400, sorry, 320, 640. That's six, up to 640 super DNA for a Sarkasukas. Um, now, if we have a look into uh, our dinosaurs, um, and we go into super hybrids, you, you for about fifty thousand, you're almost getting a Spinatosuchus with you know attack of two thousand five hundred and health of four thousand four hundred. It's pretty decent, especially if you don't have anything to use your DNA on. But for instance, let's say to unlock it, it's gonna cost two packs worth, which is 100,000 DNA. And you're going to get that much. You're, well, you're probably going to get one. So it's not going to really be that good, is it? So for 100,000 DNA, um, let's find uh, the Spinatus Sutures, because I will have one level one. Uh, oh, sorry, level 10. And he should be out here somewhere. Somewhere you will be hiding, unless you're not. Are you in here? Super hybrids? No, you're not. Tell you what, we'll just jump to it. So we'll go in here, we'll go to super hybrids, and then we'll jump to it. So for 100,000 DNA, you you get 1,215 attack and 2,160 health. 
So, is it worth it that, you know, the trans, you know, the, uh, what you call it, um, tr tr not transfer, uh, exchange, exchange of DNA to super DNA? Well, to find that out, we have to find something that costs about 100,000 DNA. So, we're going to go into market, we're going to go to uh, hybrids, and then we're going to find something that's about 100,000. So, we're not going to find that because I don't think anything is 100,000, but Udon, for instance. You know, it's about, it's less, less than a hundred thousand uh, DNA. And you're gonna get, already it starts up better at level 40. So is it worth it? Is a hundred thousand DNA worth one Spinatosuchus? Short answer, no, it's not. So we're going to here. It may look tempting. This 50,000 may look tempting. And you know what? If you want to unlock it and you've got so much more DNA, fair enough. But it's it seems to be another way that Ludia can slowly chip away your... Oop, oop, sorry. Oop, the, the doorbells just went. I'll be right back. Well, that was the uh, food processor. There we go. That's tea sword. I needed a food processor. <laughs> um, yeah, it's... It doesn't seem worth it. It seems like another way that Ludia can chip away at your DNA without you noticing. Um, really, the only there there will never be the glory days of finding something amazing in the trade harbor like they used to be. Uh, the infinite battle packs. There'll never be a glory day when you can just refresh it and find a legendary pack and then spend bucks and then unlock the legendary creatures. It's just not the way of the world. However, for fifty thousand. I am almost there. If we look at my DNA, if I click off this, look at my DNA, 779. I'm just a little bit away. And you know what? I could just wait and save my DNA, but I don't mind. I've got plenty of creatures that I can sell, plenty of creatures that need hatching, as you can see, working on some there. Oh, look at the gloriness. Um, the gloriness? Is that glory, glorious? Gloriness. That's not a word either, James. My God. What do you like? Um, so I will go into the packs and I will... Uh, is there anything else? Actually, it's... No, I don't think they all cost... I like how they're not showing the DNA one. <laughs> kind of. So you know what? For the sake of this video and the sake of a uh, screenshot, I will now unlock it. So that's okay. 140 super DNA, that's fine. As long as it wasn't 10 or 20 or 50. 140? 140, 140, 160, there we go! Plus 780 VIP points, which actually you don't even think about. Uh, so you get those for free, and if you're a VIP member, you get double that. Um, but, this raised a question. What about VIP points? Because trading, like, you can't get anything good in the trade hub, but what about trading VIP points for resources? This is interesting. This is where it gets interesting. So I'm not going to look at the VIP packs um, because that's seven, like 1,500 bucks, but it costs 50,000, which is ridiculous. Now hear me out. 20,000 gets you 500. Okay, let's set those benchmarks. 20,000 gets you 500. How about 10,000? How much does that get you? 100. Okay, so it's way more worth. It's it's way more worth. It's much better value to get to spend 20,000 and have a chance to get 500 instead of opening it twice and maybe only getting a couple of hundred. You might get over like 2,000 here because the first one, three cards have a chance. You might get up to 3,000 bucks there if you opened. Through, oh, sorry, two of the uh, solid gold ones, you'd only get, what, 600 bucks in comparison to 3,000. But, 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 how about the cheapest? The Natural Science Center. What does that give you? A hundred bucks? What? So, you could open, this is 2,000, that's 20,000. So, you could open 10 of these. Now, let's say you got super lucky. Every, each 10 of the packs you opened gave you 300 bucks. Times that by 10, it's 3,000. Um, but there's more chance, technically, of you getting bucks. I mean, the chances of you opening two... Well, actually, no. Hold on. 500, 1,000... Yeah, what am I doing? What am I doing? No, it's 1,500. You've got double. Yeah, in comparison... Sorry, I'm I'm so sorry. I try to make this uh, easy and easy to digest, and I make it even more complicated, because there's no script if you hadn't have gathered. So, one 
Theolus Melissus pack gives you up to 1,500 bucks. But in comparison, 10 Natural Science Center packs, which cost the same amount of VIP points, give you up to 3,000 buck worth. You, you have, basically you can make double if you're lucky. Let's say you got the same amount of bucks on each one, you're gonna make more opening the Natural Science Center. Only downside is, that you're not going to get the Thalakalakas Milis. Now, I don't know how much VIP points you get from opening each pack either. So there might be a chance that you get more VIP points back from the Thalakalakas, but I don't think so. I think whatever we get this times by 10 is probably going to be better. So for instance, if you need books or any other resources like uh, DNA, because you get 500 DNA, it's probably better to trade them for the Natural Science Center. Now let's have a look, double. Do you get 200 bucks in the clock tower? No. So it's not even worth looking into. You're, you're spending double the VIP points, VIP points for the same things. So it's not worth it. So if you want to trade VIP points for books, there you have it. Do the Natural Science Center. However, if you want DNA, it's probably better to not do or not spend the VIP points. But just for argument's sake, let's spend 2,000. See what we get. And there you go, we got our 100 bucks and 500 DNA, which isn't too bad. It's 100 bucks, really, that's worth it. Uh, and you get 95. So you open 10 of those packs, you got 950 uh, VIP points. If you have your VIP uh, membership, you get almost uh, 2,000. So you, you've almost got a free pack if you open 10 of them. But there you have it. That is that. But we still have not done the thing we're here for, and that is the... New hybrid. No, not the nighttime horror one. No, no, not that thing. We go into hybrids, go into regular hybrids, and we scroll down to, uh, uh, oh wait, no, we need to go into, ah, Cenozoic, that's it. The Entelorachus. The Entelodon and Phosphorachus ready hybrid. So I'm kind of, we need to go into the Iglesia um, and find the Phosphorachus. Now, I already have a Phosphorachus. And I do have an Entelon. I have Entelodon. Okay, that's good. I have a Phosphorachus. Um, is that... That's Gastornus. Ooh, no. Am I getting the mix-up? How much is Phosphorachus? Like, how, how much health does it have? Is that it? That's it. Okay, it is a legendary, but it's not really too great. So... We are now going to fuse that to make the, the bloody nightmare bird. So 500 DNA. We could, if you're a normal person, just let it go. But, um, you know, maybe you don't like Frozen and you're me and you record videos. So we're going to have to speed it up. And unfortunately, that means that we lose lots of bucks. You don't have to do that, though. Best thing to do really is save your bucks for buying back creatures if you need to do events. Really, because then you have a chance of getting bucks in packs and getting other creatures and stuff. And there it is! 208 attack and 667 health! As well as a weird skull. Wow, okay. So let's go in here. Let's watch it kill and rip apart a little rodent! Bah! Um, yum, yum. I'm surprised it didn't eat whole. I would have thought it would. But there you go, he's like, hey, I did it, I did it. So, there you go, let's get to level 10. At level 10, 1,000 health, 313 attack. Which is way better than Entledon, and it's actually quite close to uh, its Phosphorachus uh, counterpart. Which means that uh, this is almost like the Carnoraptor of the hybrids for the Xenozoic. But it's even better because it's a legendary hybrid, which means it has proper amazing potential leak. So we'll get some food back. Entelorachus has the strongest jaw of any terror bird hybrid. Oh, well, there you go. That's uh, Ludia adding lore to their own franchise. <laughs> they can say and do whatever they want. Um, so it costs 25,000. In comparison, the uh, Indocerios, in, in, Indocerios, in the Oreo one, costs 10,000 more. What do you get for that 10,000 more? You get just less than 1,000 health and maybe 200 attack. Is that worth it? Hmm. If you had to have one, yes. But as far as DNA cost goes, no. Uh, but if you had to choose one, you'd probably choose the Indocerios because it's got more health and more attack. Um, but by the time you buy, you know, at well, uh, well, one point or other, you're going to get more Entelorachus than you are Indraceros if you're going to buy them. And you know what they say. And you know what I say. If you've got a hybrid, don't just settle for one. Buy another one. Unfortunately, uh, that's 50 bucks uh, to get that. Uh, or we could spend... Hmm. 
Nom, 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 nom. 152 bucks. Ooh, this is a bit crazy. This is gonna cost a lot. This is gonna cost a lot. Is it gonna cost 100 bucks to speed up? Ooh, 152 plus a speed up plus an axe. I'm gonna have to just spend 50 bucks on the capsule. It's not worth speeding, spending 152 bucks to speed up the bear and then to buy an incubator and to also speed it up. So I'm probably just gonna have to speed that up. So, 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 we're gonna go to the market. We're gonna go to Cenozoics and we're gonna go to hybrid Cenozoics. And there it is. We're gonna spend 50 for the hatch and it's, it's the devil. That was a lot. That was a lot. Oh my God. Do never do that. Never do that. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna fuse these guys to get a level 20, meaning that this thing's gonna be really useful when it comes to doing the Cenozoic battles. Um, Cause at the moment I don't really have a great selection. So, evolve 140 and now 120 bucks. And of course it doesn't be done. It doesn't get done straight away, which is a bit of a shame. And there you go, 240 bucks and not done again. However, if you weren't doing this, you wouldn't. Oh, there we go, so 360 bucks that was. I'm on 3,000 bucks, guys. I'm running low. What happened to the glory days? Oh, what happened to the glory days when you could find ways of beating the system? So 1,713 health and 535 it is. Oh, God. No! I want to see its kill animation, you buggy. And 535 attack. That's really good. It's a bit of a glass cannon, but not really because it can't kill itself in two hits. Um, but it's it's not going to take many hits <laughs> lying down or even standing up. It's going to fall straight down. The mammalian DNA of this hybrid gives it a stronger sense of smell than most avian creatures. But I'm sure it has amazing eyesight though. And what does it look like at level 40? Well, it's got a few more tufts of feathers and a bit more spiky, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. So, is there anything that we can do? Ooh, we can collect some things. Oh, there you go, some VIP points and DNA, I'll take it. Uh, anything for the super DNA? No, 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 not quite. Not quite. We'll collect all of our gold because we've probably got 100,000 worth. Yes, we do. And what do we have as far as battles go? We have fight for funds, which really isn't worth it, but... I mean, because books are so freaking stingy these days, um, you might be tempted to do it. But with opponents like that, Ludia, fix it! Fix this! It's ridiculous. You're just taunting us with books. Really are. There's no point. Like, for, for what? A maximum of, what, 120 books? You want us to use our best, best creatures? Are you kidding me? I'd rather just spend 2,000 VIP points and get 100 bucks. I'd rather do that, and I'd, then I can use these guys for something else. But you kind of have to be wary, because if there's an event where you might need them, as in tomorrow for the Legendary Rumble, or the VIP point uh, pack, the, the Dino Bucks really isn't worth it. I don't know why they bother having it. Maybe for a lower level it might be worth it, but as far as I, I mean, there's my best dinosaur doesn't have the same attack as Indominus Rex. All the same health. In fact, I can't find a balance. If I go for Metrophodon, which has around like 2,000 less attack, Indominus has four times the health. If I go for Pachygalosaurus, which has 2,000 uh, less health, Ind Indominus Rex has like three times the attack. And then that's, I'm not even looking at Era Titan and Ankylosaurus with 3,000 and 5,000 attack respectively and 14,000. There's just no, no flipping way of me doing that. But we can do battle stage 84 and then 85. Finishing these off and then seeing what we're going to get for the infinite battles. So what do we have? Uh, a carnivore, pretty much. Just any carnivores are good. Let's stick those in. And we get to see this beautiful battle arena. Because we never get to see this anymore. It's always the visitor center. Like I said, when it first came, it was nice to see it. It was a change because all we would see was this. But we have some... It's all we see now. All we see is the visitor center. This is a lovely battle arena. And so is the PvP battle arena. They're both gorgeous, and yet we never get to see them because, for a start, doing the infinite battles is like doing a go f like the GoFundMe pack or whatever. It's just not worth it. Um, and doing the PvP battles, you've got to have dinosaurs kind of left over and spare time to do it, which a lot of people kind of don't. So it's about finding a balance, I think. 
you've got to you've got to make the event creatures less tough so people can actually afford to do something else with their creatures without spending bucks to buy them back. And there you have it. We got free DNA. I turned on wins. Lovely. So that's 170 DNA plus the ample DNA pack, which gives two, four, six, eight thousand DNA plus 260 VIP points. And the final one, our final so far, because it has taken years to <laughs> extend the levels, Acanthostega Battle Infinite Pack. So what do we need here? Flyers. Flyers, I tell you. All of them. So we're just going to go straight in with Pterodactylus. Um, I need to double check if Pterodactylus is um, a VIP exclusive dinosaur. I can't remember. I feel like it might have been. It, wa it wasn't. Then it was. And then I think it got shifted to not being a VIP. Oh, sorry, being, to going back into the solid gold packs. But I don't know. We'll have to check. So, uh, two hits kills it. Factor in two, just in case, because why not? And that's always what you do. If you want to kill it, and you know you can survive the next one, even if your creature dies, factor in two. So he's going to go for three, because two can kill me, and I've only got one block. But we, we, this was... I mean, look at this, right? This is 85, the final battle stage in the game. You would think when it comes to the infinite battles now, that um, you would be able to uh, do the infinite battles because you, you, I mean, you did it. You've done all of them and we locked Akanta Stegen and there it is again. So now when we go into the battle, we got 23 hours to wait for the battle stage infinite. Um, now all you win is a mystery pack. That's all you win. And if you're a VIP, I think it would be a VIP one. Although I'm not sure. I think actually this is the only time when you win a normal one, even if you are a VIP. I could be wrong though. Um, so the chances are Oh, look, there you go. VIPs can win this. But these battles will be just as tricky as everything else. Plus, they're five. Five. Ooh, not worth it. <laughs> really not worth it. But we've done the battle stage infinite, which is what we really wanted to do. And now let's do the monsters of the deep. So these are really tough. Really tough. You have to have good creatures for this. Um, so what do you want? You want surface. So we'll, we'll bring in a, a pot commodity Hainosaurus here to help us out. Now we can die into it, so we're going to go for a block right away. The Xenophodon looks good. Xenophodon. But at the same time, it is level 64, don't forget. Which is two evolutions above what it can ever hope to achieve. Right, Benogamous here we don't need to worry about. We don't have to worry about Benogamous. Hopefully it goes for three. Ooh, or nothing. Or nothing. I would like to go for four reserves and one block. That's what you do. If you can, try and save up as many attacks as possible. Oh, he's got one block. That's fine, that's fine. Because our 1,300 attack gets turned into 1,400. Sorry, 1,300. Oh, it's the same kind of... Damn it. Okay, so one, two, three kills. A factor in one. And then I'm only going to go for two blocks here. Ah, there we go. That's fine. Uh, because even if Benogamous did come in and it had five... Ooh, it can do a lot, actually. <laughs> He probably could have killed me. Oh, he's got three. Oh, he goes for two. He's got one block. Oh, perfect. That was close. I underestimated Bonogamous' attack here. Really did. And there you go. That's one out of four done. As well as VIP points collected. Oh, no. Sorry. DNA points. My bad. Sorry. I've recorded... Um, another video today. Quite a long one. Over an hour. And uh, I, I, these days, guys... I it has it wears me out recording videos my voice i can re i can record for a solid hour and be okay if i keep on recording to two hours my voice starts to strain oh it's horrendous i'm getting old guys <laughs> oh got the solace dacoderma and i don't know that yeah sure that one we'll go for one reserve here because he'll probably switch in his own ordinary catfish <laughs> you went second, and you've only got one, my dear. And 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Ooh, could I kill him? I think I might be able to. Oh, yes. Awesome, yes. Now, Leptoclitus. Oh, bless it. It's got no attack. Oh, dear. Oh, and it goes for it. Oh, 
with the cutie. Now go for three again, two, four, six, that's a kill. Bam! Ooh, ooh, this ain't so good though, because now he'll go for three attack. So hopefully Dakoderma can kill it in four. I think he will be able to. Oh, look at it! Wow, he's really good. I mean, it, it is against, you know, it's advantage, but still. There you go, wasn't that glorious? Now two more battles. Hmm, ooh, it's a mixed bag. Ah, the worst kind. Okay, who's the weakest on our team? Sondustus, with only 2,730 health. Uh, it does have a lot of attack, but if we put in its weakness, which is surface, um, actually, no. Yeah, if we put in loads of reefs, that's good. That's good. Let's put in reefs. Um, but we'll not put in a reef first. <laughs> we'll want it to switch out. That's good, because even though we'll be nerfed, its attack, is, sorry, its health is low, meaning that we have a high chance of killing it anyway. Even with our nerfed attack, because its health is low. So we'll go for one reserve right off the bat. Just to make sure that we uh, get loads of uh, turns up the next go. And he'll switch out. Ooh, 2,000 attack! That's fine, that's fine. I don't mind if Plotosaurus dies. He's not part of the blood. To win. Three. Mm. Ooh, not going for it, not going for it. I'm not going to go for it either. Oh, he's got, he's got six. One, two, three, four. He has to go for four to kill me. He has to go for four to kill me. And he goes all out. And there we won, basically, because of that. Because, what do we? Hmm, let's see. One, two, three kills at one, two. And there we go. We can't be killed in two by uh, the Styxosaurus, is it? Or is it Myosaurus? More, more, more you saw us. The Maui Maui. He's going to switch up anyway, meaning we can't die in one hit from this thing either. He doesn't go for it. Now, the only thing we need to do is take care of it. Now, because it has low health, three hits kill it. Uh, we'll factor in two just in case. And he didn't even go for it. So, there you have it. We've won. 2,600 attack gets taken down to 1,000. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to have to go for six. And he's only got one block. And Yubun is going to take the victory. He's going to take the W. Um, one, two, two kills it. So I only had to go for one extra. <gasps> I should have, shouldn't I? I should have went for all reserves. Oh, the flex. <laughs> beautiful. And the final one. Oh, beautiful. There you go. Beautiful. It's, it's beautiful everywhere. Every day. It's a wonderful kind of day. Glad to work and play. Get along with each other. Kill them. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, son? Whoa! You almost killed me! <laughs> oh dear! You called me bluff! Tylosaurus, your health terrible! Ooh. Well, he should go for two, and because of that, we've won. It's gonna have a domino effect, meaning that he will go for two, and then, yes! 5,000! Kill him in one! Oh dear. I'll do it. I'll do it. There you go. Bam! Now, how much attack do you have? 657. Even if you went for three, we should probably do about 3,000 damage. You wouldn't kill me. Right, let's take off the slow-mo and... Oh, sorry, speed up, I should say, and see it in slow motion. Oh, lovely. Isn't it glorious? He's gonna, like, you think he's gonna bite you? Oh, dragging the jaw on the floor, lovely. Don't know why. <laughs> Um, the animators must have been running out of ideas when that when they came up with that one. Ah, no. How about we just have them? Um... Oh, you never get to see its full animation anymore. <gasps> oh, that's a shame. They look so cool. I had it turned off to speed up. Oh, there you go. And Deodocus, maybe that's part of the hybrid. The new one, the nightmare one. And there you have it. An event done. A few events done, actually claim some super DNA because we now have another Indoraptor in the works. I mean, we can't put it in now unless we want to pay 50 bucks. Um, and I think he's he speeds up pretty quick. Let's see. Let's go into the Dino Market. Um, purchase another Indoraptor. Bam! Should we speed it up? How much is it? Six days. Okay, never mind. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Six days. Takes a week. So, how many Indoraptors do we have now? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Um, that's... Oh, one more Indoraptor, and we can technically make 
an Indoraptor level 40. Max level it has 10,000 health and 5,300 attack, right? At level 20, it has 4,000 less health and 1,500 less attack. For a level 20, I would rather have four level 20s than one level 40. It only makes sense. So I'm just gonna, I mean, I might make another level 20 when we get this level 10, but level 10's, like at level 10, it has 5,000 health, right? At level 40, it only doubles it. So what's the point? I'd rather have eight level 10s than a level 40. Not only that, but its attack is 2,600, which is half the attack of a level 40. I don't, I should, I probably don't even need to make a level 20. I should just keep them all level 10s. Having eight level 10s is way better than a level 40. I apologize to my past self for maxing those up to level 20. I should have just kept them all to level 10. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments if you think we should get a level 40 or keep them all at level 10s and have like as many Indoraptors as possible. Maybe we can make a crazy thumbnail with eight of them in there. That'd be cool. The Indoraptor family. Somebody's gonna nick that idea now, aren't they? Damn it. If you do, oh, I never speak it again. <laughs> but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye.